<laughs> I'll put these in the gun that I don't own. The seven six what two. Are these? Wolf? Are they for... Speaking of wolf, I saw nine <laughs> wolves this Be past weekend. Excuse me. Little turtles from Mexico. Turtles, y'all. Here's what I'm thinking on on my adventures around the globe. For Emmy, I'm gonna start bringing you home turtles, little girl. Every time I go to somewhere cool, maybe every year you get a new turtle. A new year, a new turtle. A new dangle, a new turtle. So anyway, she got her first one while I was in Mexico. And uh, you like turtles. I know you do. Mm -hmm. I like turtles. Little tortugas. Yeah, it's little tortugas. I gotta head out. I'm going over to the uh, to the Guggen Crypt. Honey, Where sweetheart. Sweetheart, I'm only going for a little bit. She loves me. She loves me the most. I mean, I admit it. It's because she doesn't see you all the time. I know, it's like a nice surprise. I'm here she just is. enough. Just enough. She gets tired of looking at mommy's face. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> I do. <laughs> do Guys know that's not true. Ah, that's how she happened. <laughs> Heading out of the tree house. Hit the road. Well, y'all, let's, uh, let's start it off. Just walked outside for the first time today. Been seeing an editing desk, my awesome Tigerwood editing desk, and it is windy, y'all. It's frustrating. That boat over there, I want to take it out so bad. I want to get to learn more and I want to go fishing, but it's 30 mile an hour winds today. It's so tough. I need to check the cams, see what was roaming around here last night. Oh, that's cool. It wasn't even on, so probably nothing. Actually, was working. It looks like just a raccoon was here. Oh, Ricky. The Trout Stealer. I gotta go back to that river, you guys. I know a lot of you, uh, you, you guys saw that video, you liked it. Um, pristine, beautiful. And I wanna go back there, because I keep stocking those trout and it's fun and they're so tasty. But I have some camping gear that I ordered and uh, I'm gonna do like a whole unboxing on it because I think it's, it's good stuff. Did some research and uh, for any of you out there that are looking to kind of get set up on a basic truck camping setup, I'm gonna do a video on it. Okay, silver bullet. It's time to put you in your stall. All right. Now, usually I ride them pretty hard and put them up wet. That's a horse reference, nothing else. But she is my lady, the silver bullet. And I've been taking care of her. I put the cover on her, tighten it down real crisp. And she is heavy, y'all. She is heavier than my other boat. Okay, I have goodies. I have goodies for the Guggens. While we were in Mexico, uh, I got a large box of Guggen baits. This is for the whole squad, so I'm gonna take these in here and we're gonna share the love, baby. Hello, hello. I have goodies. Here we have a lot of other lures and stuff, guys. Me and Rob are just going through stuff. It's a good little unit. It's a good unit. I'll take it. The other day, I, I was cleaning out the boat and I made just like a box of stuff. Rob's literally doing the same thing right now here at the Guggen House. And we were thinking, well, we have the warehouse, which is coming soon. Whole another story. Uh, but we have a lot of like leftover baits or maybe baits that we use for a day. Um, and then we're just constantly getting stuff trying stuff out and we have extras making big bundles like this and then doing giveaways so <laughs> right now we're kind of picking out the nice little nuggets that we know are going to be good in the next couple months here looks like we got um this is off of carl's by the way i haven't tried this i didn't even realize that they spro makes this or no this isn't spro this is a booyah but it's a toad runner it's got a little extra leg back there, big old wagger leg. And then uh, this looks like a good wintertime bait. This little bucktail chatterbait. We got a little chartreuse and white here. Got another shad, shad type color there. It's pretty good. Found one of my old, this is my favorite spinner bait. That was in there for some reason. Look at these, KVD 1.5s, these are good. Some jerk baits. Got some good stuff in there. Amongst the fall harvest uh, vegetables that are here. The gourds and the wiffle bats and uh, 
mail from the IRS and all sorts of stuff. Gar, I'm working on that red beard. I'm catching up to you, boy. How we doing, guys? Good, good. Oh, got one left. Got one little guy left. What's wrong with you? Gary is looking fat. Wintertime plumpness. I've also got a special present for Rob. Awesome. Eyewear. Hey, Lunkers. Do you got wanna... your sick Ray-Bans here. And I got you some bullets. Are you vlogging right now? You Where's no, my you... bullets? I didn't get any bullets. Oh, here. Just... <laughs> I'll put these in the gun that I don't own. The 762? What are these? Wolf? Are they for... Speaking of wolf, I saw nine wolves this you... past weekend. Excuse me? Yeah. John, did you say you found some wolves? Nine wolves we saw in Ontario. Actually, I only saw six, but the whole group saw nine. And apparently, hunting them is like, you just need like a deer tag. <laughs> Do you know about this? Where is this? What state? Uh, well, it's a province. It's province? In, uh, oh, it's actually up in Canada. Yeah, they have an insane population. I've heard, uh, when I go fishing up there, they say, like, don't walk around on the roads. Except There's tons of them. People's dogs get eaten and oh, stuff yeah. by them. But yeah. I've never heard them or seen them. I got this from Rob, Lokers TV. I'm going to stick this on the boat and uh, spruce it up a little bit, baby. We were just talking about the weather, like old men do. Literally, this week is just gonna be terrible. I'm trying to figure out like what's the most efficient thing to do. I either wanna go smallmouth fishing, because they're a little bit more active in colder water, and just fish deep with the new boat, kind of dial in the electronics, or maybe go do some more trout fishing, or maybe not do any fishing at all. Maybe go hunting. Pretty much every day is looking like this right here, with those trees popping, crazy winds, and then it's gonna be just really cold. Really, really cold. So, not looking like a good week to go fishing. But we gotta figure out our dang we all. We gotta figure something out to do, so. Oh man, what's an outdoorsman to do when it's bad weather? I could do some woodcraft. In fact, you know what I need to do? Something I've been meaning to do for a while. I need to go check at the, either the Home Depot or the Lowe's and see if they have any uh, cork board. Now, my last house, I had uh, the pegboard set up in there and I had all my lures lined up on it. And not all my lures, but literally like just a lot of different colors and main things that I use. Uh, and it was easy to come in, come in there each part of the season, grab the lures, uh, and then I could put them back. And anyway, it was nice display. I like looking at it too. It's fun to look at. I want to build that again, but I want to expand on it like 10 times. I want to have a, uh, a big tool wall and lure wall all in one, baby. So I can have my hammers right next to my hammer jigs. You know what I'm saying? In the store with the big blue roof. I'm leaving the blue roof with a bucket. I got to go to the orange roof because they couldn't seem to find cork board in there. But I did find something for camping. I got some... Uh, some lag bolts. It's a big eight inch lag bolts. My buddy Lance, creative one, that's on this channel quite a bit. Uh, he recommended those for camping tent stakes. Instead of, you know, spending a long time banging in camp stakes, use those, use your cordless drill, and you just pound those babies in there. Wham, bam, thank you, Sam. I'm ready to camp now, ma'am. But seriously, if any of y'all are out there that want to try that that do a lot of camping it sounds like it'd be a really easy way to do it well this stuff is forty dollars a sheet my gosh it's very very expensive but i'm here i need it i'm gonna get it 96 inches long each sheet i'm getting two of them and hopefully that covers enough to get my wall started two reasons i want to do this covers up the holes that are in the wall in the garage and i can hang all my stuff on it so Two birds, one sheet. Well, those ended up being 20 bucks a piece, not, not 40. I guess they were mismarked, or I just got a good deal because I'm wearing a hat and they thought I was just cool. I got the cool hat discount. Probably not, though. They were probably mismarked. Well, many minutes later, we have our board here. Oh, yeah. Look at this wood mess. I gotta get my wood organized. And to do that, I need to get all this stuff and all my fishing stuff, which a lot of it's still at my dad's LFDs, which is miles down the road. 
I need to get it organized. So the goal of this cork board, you see, look at these holes. Look at all this. I was going to just come in here and redo this and all that, but if I'm just going to put cork board on top of it anyways, why not just take the easy route? And I got some holes and stuff over here I got to cover up. I mean, we can get past that. But I think this is the easy way out. And then what I'm going to do is build a workbench about waist high right here. It's going to go all the way across. And that's where I'm going to be able to build a lot of wood projects, work on tackle, firearms, things of that nature. An outdoorsman needs a workbench, y'all. It's plain and simple. Got a little project. Everybody needs a little cowbell in their life. Seriously, have a bell. Look at that, huh? See what that is? Yeah. Ooh, That's a ooh. camera. Yes. So much digitality. Digitality? I just made that up. Digitality in these young, young little people's worlds. I got this amazing bell. LFD found this for Christmas. I need to hang it somewhere here. It's a true antique. He found it at true antique. Yeah, like this is a legit, this, is, this isn't like, you know, one of them knockoff deals you see at a, a Target. This is like an actual old school dinner bell or breakfast bell, whatever you want to do. It's got deer on it. Deer goodness. And I need, exactly, exactly. Dinner's ready. What are we having, by the way? We are having some herb chicken with some patch chili mushroom. <laughs> yes. So anyways, um, I'm gonna hang this outside. And there's a lot of things I need to hang, including that, that board. So uh, it's time to get the power tools out and get her done. What? I got other stuff for you to hang too. You have other stuff for me to hang too? Wow. What a surprise. I'm hoping that that can Call them deer here one day. They know the sound and be like, oh, oh we got some apples for you. We got, some, <laughs> got a little oatmeal mix. Soy free, gluten free. Also, I just I picked up this brew. John B gave me this brew while we were at the house. I waited till I got home to start drinking it because I'm a responsible adult. Uh, but this this thing is delicious. This is John B's beer. Look at that. Rigged. Uh, so this is Magnetic North, I believe is what it's called. It's got a walleye on there. It's a hazelnut coffee oatmeal brown ale. So it's not like, it's not a beer that you probably want to drink a lot of. It's just something to enjoy with like a meal or just some camaraderie. And there's a lot of flavor in this thing. It's thick. You can really taste the coffee. It's good. This is really, really good. I just want to say uh, congratulations to John on the launching of this beer, and it is it is delicious. So, uh, magnorthbeer.com, riggedfishing.com, if you want to check them out. I'm actually a little jealous. I wish I had, I wish I had myself a beer. Maybe I need to get with John and get like a uh, a mondo brew or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like Got to start a little series going right here. Yours Maybe I can get my own IPA. signature series. Yeah, yours would be an IPA. <sighs> IPA, yeah. Y'all y'all need like a pick six beer. Like each person has a beer and it comes in like a, a pick six. Woo! OSG! I like that. Good idea. There you have it, folks. I've decided that the best place to put this is right here. Right where the animals can hear it. And it's right next to the boat. The new silver bullet, baby. So maybe when I get home, I'm gonna be like, ding, ding, ding. Honey, I'm here. Hope dinner's ready. No, I'm not like that. But I do ask, honey, is dinner ready? I kinda ask like that, I don't ring a bell. Wanna put them up like this? Look at them. They're gonna be looking out into the woods at the other deers. Got our bell up, out of the way. OSG was bugging me about it, did it, and I like it actually. Uh, but the new lure wall project, y'all, is going to be huge, huge, as Trump would say. That's one piece right there. It's like the whole side of my truck. And I'm just kind of doing some calculations here, and I'm looking, and I'm thinking that those two pieces right there are gonna perfectly match up with the two big panels right here. And then below is gonna be the workbench, and we're gonna be all good. So I don't know if I have any footage of my old lure wall, but it was awesome, and it took up a pretty good amount of space in the garage, but 
bigger garage here, much bigger lure wall. It's gonna be fantastic. And something else I wanna do um, below, so I'm gonna have the workbench here and then I'm gonna have uh, crates. I'm gonna build some crates to put all uh, like soft baits in or just like uh, bulk baits, lures and stuff. That Because right now, if you look over here, this is how I have this. It's, it's it's not even organized. What is this? This is just, I've got crossbows mixed in with plastic baits, life jackets. Uh, th this is this is not organized. When you're a fisherman and you have tons of tackle, it pays to be organized. <sighs> well, this is where I leave you for the day, y'all. This is my life. This is uh, this is basically just summed it up. It's fishing. It is uh, projects. My house is currently falling falling off on this side. The subject will uh, leave for another day. But I have tons of build projects. I'm stuck between a quandary of do I want to go fishing tomorrow because it's the only weather day that looks good this week. Not even good. Semi good. Or do I want to stay here and work on wood projects. But anyways, when I get the lure wall done, I'm going to walk you guys through the whole thing. That's how I'm doing my, my all my vlogs now. It's just a little bit at a time building constantly until we have the ultimate outdoor cave baby and for all y'all that are new to the channel i usually have quite a few vlogs during the week and then uh, at least one adventure where i'm going out somewhere and i'm really dialing into fishing i just close myself off and i become a full fishing freak and i dangle hard so all those videos come during the week guys so subscribe right here if you want more and if you want to see more at the tree house me and the fam lake life family channel linked down below love you guys and i'll see you on the next one